All right, what it is, what it do, folks, is your boy, the Mikey J, and the mother effing place to be. And today, folks, we are going to show you in OBS how to um, make your followers pop up on screen. So um, I'm pretty sure you guys watch Twitch streams and you watch your favorite Twitcher and they're on stream and then somebody follows and something pops up on the screen like a custom text or a custom uh, graphic that shows somebody has followed, donated, subscribed, anything like that. I will show you guys with Twitch alerts how to actually put that onto your screen, your stream with um, the CLR browser. If you're not um, familiar with um, OBS and how it works, you probably want to check out one of my earlier tutorials. I have a definitive OBS um, guide to you know get you set up with streaming and all that kind of stuff. So if you that'll be in the description if you want to check that out first. Um, this tutorial is mainly for people who actually um, already have a good idea of how to use OBS so right here I have um, this is an example of what we're going to be doing today uh, hold on one second I'll click that in about 30 seconds it'll pop up but um yeah so I'm gonna set that right there so it doesn't go on my, on my pretty face <laughs> I'm sitting there right there but it should pop up here in a second and um, this is basically the effect that we're going for under uh, OBS um, so this is using the CLR browser there it is right there so you see how that pops up on the screen and you've got a nice custom effect what you're gonna do in um, under twitchalerts.com twitchalerts.com sign in with twitch and it will link to your twitch account and you have to um, and then you can set up an alert box you can go to either one of these two on the left hand side of the uh, window uh, alert box v2 it is in beta it's um it's been working decently for me like uh i've only had a probably about one or two hiccups since i've been using it but it 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 does it, it does what it's supposed to do um so the first thing that you want to do is download uh, the CLR browser source plugin. So we're gonna go to the CLR, the open, the OBS. It'll take you to the OB, OBS page with the um, plugin download, and this is very important right here. It's very important. Um, depending on which version you use, there's two different versions of the plugin. So um, I have my OBS tacked on to the um, the taskbar if you don't it's fine but what you want to do to figure out which version that you use I have mine I'll right click on the taskbar I'll right click on OBS and go to properties okay so you see where it says target um, C program files x86 this x86 right here that means anything with the x86 on there means it's automatically 32-bit um x86 is the old uh, i want to say the old standard before windows um before windows vista when windows vista went all 64-bit and windows 7 went 64-bit um it's basically it just doesn't it doesn't use the same kind of memory but it's it's that's beyond the point. The, the The thing is, if it if it says x86 and you're using 32-bit, if it's just in C program files OBS, then it's 64-bit. So keep that in mind. All right. So since mine says x86, I would download the 32-bit. Okay. So once you get that all downloaded, um, I guess I'll download it again. I don't care. I don't care, man. I don't care. Um you want to navigate to your OBS folder. So whether you go to C or whatever drive that you have it under, you go to Program Files OBS. So is mine even open? Yes, mine is open. All right, so OBS, and what you want to do is I got it open. All right, get out of here, WinRAR. Um, got it open, and these two files right here, these two files right here, you're going to want to drag those into your plugins folder. So you drag those into your plugins folder, boom. And yes, move and replace, move and replace, and good lord, yes. All right, do this for the next 68 conflicts. I'm, I'm not even mad. Continue, okay, what the hell? 
All right, we're just going to cancel it since it's already in there. So it's not a big deal. But yes, um, the best thing that you would like want to do is um, just drag that into your plugins folder. And once that's in your plugins folder, you have the um, you have the source. So in order to get that pop up, get that pop up, you're going to go back to your dashboard under uh, Twitch alerts. So go into your dashboard in Twitch alerts and um, you see this link right here under how to this link right here you want to select that right click and copy it all right so now we're going to go into obs i got my obs right here i am going to um untick that one that one's my main as a matter of fact rename to that to main you guys don't have to do that that's just for my reference but i'm going to add another cl clr browser uh, and, and anywhere under the sources box, you'll right click and then you'll go to add. And then you will have a new um, a new option here for CLR browser. All right. Um, I'm going to say fake because it's, it's my fake one. You can name it whatever you like. But under so this is going to pop up here and under the URL, all you have to do is just paste that link in there. So and then you'll hit. Uh, OK, and that's it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. So, and I and, and to test it out, just go back to the page, hit um, test follow alert, and it takes about 30 seconds for the the test to pop up. So I'm just gonna leave that right here, so you guys can see that. Wait, and on the pop up, and there it is right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is how that can um, be used, and you can move it around, you can edit it, make make it bigger or smaller, how, however you want it position it just like you'd like it just like anything else in OBS so um, yeah that is basically it um, if you guys have any questions or problems with it hit me up on Twitter at the Mikey J and um, I'd be happy to help you out um, whenever I can you know I'm kind of a busy guy so <laughs> if it, don't don't think I'm ignoring you because I do read all my mentions so I mean if, if you do have a problem with this um, I will give you, I will, you know, I will do my best to um, help you out. So um, that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys learned a little something about uh, the, the, the pop-ups and everything. Um, let me see. Yeah, that's about it. Um, probably in the next episode, I'll probably um, expand on this to... Um, you know, do the custom text, the custom um, pictures and all that. So but that's just how to get it to pop up. I just wanted to um, shout out my lost, <laughs> my long lost friend, the Mrs. May. Um, I actually helped her with this and she was like, yeah, you should do a tutorial on this, Mike. And I was like, I'm going to do a tutorial on this. So I just did a tutorial on it. So hit that like button, comment, subscribe, do whatever. It is your boy, the Mikey J, in the mother place to be. The Mrs. May will be down in the description. She is a great, great, great friend. She is a um, GTA YouTuber. She has, she makes a lot of funny videos. She is funny as all hell. So go ahead and subscribe to her if you haven't already. I mean, if you haven't subscribed to her, I don't know what you're doing with your life. But go ahead and subscribe to Mrs. May. And uh, that is it. I will see you guys in the next episode. This is your boy, the Mikey J, in the mother place to be. And as always, guys.